I got started into barbering. I was working in uh, corporate America, uh, kind of languishing away, uh, not really loving what I was doing at the time. My business partner, Paul Catlett, was the guy that cut my hair, and uh, we started talking about uh, the need for um, a salon quality experience in a masculine, manly barbershop environment. And it was in that time of talking about this idea that it kind of piqued an interest in me and uh, made a full career change um, and decided to go into barbering and haven't looked back since. It was definitely the best decision I've ever made. Uh, there are very few jobs where you have the ability to improve someone's day every time they sit in your chair. I was living in LA, just fell into the fashion industry and just one thing led to another and ended up doing hair and just pretty much saved my life. So one thing you know led to another, ended up back in Springfield, Missouri. And honestly, it's just something I, I just, I love doing and I, I, I can't get enough of and, and uh, after having two young boys myself like barbering was kind of one of those things that just like was the next step it's something I, I, I was very passionate about anyway and it's just like it forced me into like you know getting into it and then that led into Hudson Hawk so I got into barbering basically uh, I, I needed to find a quick career I didn't want to bounce around with college like everyone else is doing I had to figure out something else so um, with barbering you can you can make money just about any way possible, whether in the shop or outside of the shop. Um, you you always be making money, so that's that's why I went with it. And I can be creative. I can talk to people and just do a lot of things with it. It's it's fun. It's a fun job. You know, honestly, it's the craft. I mean, it's like it's an art. It's something that, like it disappeared. It just like fell off the you know. And, and the guys that are, were still trying to hang on and doing it were just. They, they didn't get the recognition, they didn't get the opportunity to do, and so now it's just for what we're trying to do. We're trying to basically incorporate the true craft of barbering into the modern man. And uh, the guy that, you know, that, that uh, is on the run, on the go, needs efficiency, needs a lot of things, but really at the end of the day, he, he wants just a really good solid haircut for an affordable price. Men are easy. They're easy creatures. Uh, they are very simplistic in what they're looking for. They're not picky. Uh, they like. They're loyal. They enjoy, you know, uh, talking and having casual conversation. I don't have to listen to their whole life story. We get to talk about sports, that kind of stuff. But shaving is always a good thing. I like that it's very fluid and quiet. It's calming. Uh, everybody who leaves is happier. I feel like some of the things that really make Hudson Hawk special. Um, the, we, we have a very diverse group of barbers. The, the people and the talent that, that work here uh, really what make this place special. Uh, you come in, you get to meet, the, you, you, you're sat with the same barber, you get to know your guy or your gal, and uh, you, know, you get to talk about more than just what the weather's like outside or what was going on in the news that day. You get to know the person, you get to know about their family and about what they like to do for fun and have more of a, a community feel, which is really what we're going for. I mean, really, it's just about passion. Like, really, I mean, to me, it's, it's, it's about having, like, it's like giving men something great. It's about giving them that opportunity to, to feel like men, to be like men, to have young boys, have a, a good, clean, true, true to life experience, what our grandfathers and our fathers got to experience. And, and it's just kind of disappeared. And, and so we're bringing it back. And um, men are intelligent. They're, they're, good, they're good, good shoppers. You know, they're, they're intelligent buyers, but it's like they just don't have anywhere to go. And so we really wanted to keep that money local. We wanted to keep um, keep the money in the United States, and so that's why you know our, our number one principle was whatever we do is going to be American made, made by Americans, sold to Americans. Our tagline here at Hudson Hawk is "Stay Sharp," right? So it kind of encompasses everything we try to do here as a company. Uh, stay sharp in your haircut. Stay sharp in the way you groom your face. Stay sharp in uh, things like your grooming habits at home. You know, uh, it, it's stay sharp on your conversation. It's like the, the taking all those little components of being a guy and being able to just, you know, if we can help you just sharpen them up a little bit. So, show you how to tie a bow tie. Or, uh, it, it's very similar actually to what the Art of Manliness likes to do, except that, you know, we get to do it on an in, in, interpersonal basis. 
talk to somebody about their favorite sports team, give them a, give them a piece of insight that they had they didn't have before. It's just like little little bits of any, of information and little bits of the experience or different kinds of products we can introduce people to to just sharpen them up just a little bit. So that's really what we're trying to do. Thank you.